Hi everyone. The next few minutes we are going to invest our time and effort in learning some of the shortcut keys which you will be using definitely be using in times to come and cumulatively over the next few years it's going to save you tons and tons of time and of course uh, it would definitely impress the person sitting beside you and see how how quickly you are able to use shortcut key to perform the tasks now what i've done is i've handpicked some of the very very important shortcut keys which i'll be explaining through various examples the first one is actually been introduced in 2007 version of excel for example if you want to access a particular tab or a button from the ribbon uh, let's say is yes, fill color and i do not know the shortcut you do activate that then how do you activate that button without knowing the shortcut key sounds like a contradictory statement well actually no notice my screen if i press alt key automatically the ribbon shows all the key tips and when i click on the letter h why letter H? It's actually indicating the home tab. When I click on H, it further shows me key tips within the different components of the same tab home. Now notice carefully, the button which is showing you show fill color is also indicated by the letter H. So I will press H from the keyboard and what happens? The color palette opens up and then I use the down and up or right arrow key to go to the favorite color. Let's say in this case, the green and I press enter. So this was the power of Alt key. If you perhaps want to access another button, let's say Alt, H is for home. And then what I see, I see the comma style or maybe general or maybe any other format which indicates increase or decrease indent. Let me press digit six, Y six, because this is present besides the button called increase indent. Let's say six, as you can see, it definitely affects the text inside it. Now, you would already be working with Control C, Control X, and Control V, so I'm not going to that detail. What else? Well, if you have any formula or a text which you want to copy paste down, normally what people do, they use Control C and then they drag it and then press Control V. Well, alternative to this is you don't need to copy the entire single cell. In fact, once you simply choose the data, including the first cell, all you have to do is press Control D. Control D is a shortcut key. It includes the combination of Control C and Control V vertically. Now, similar to this is what we call as Control R. It copy pastes the data automatically to the right hand side. So if I choose all the data from this particular selection, I choose the selection towards the right. If I press Control R, notice what happens. Yes. So the key point here is you must choose the cell which you want to copy paste. So at times, if you want to save time, instead of doing Control C, Control V, you might as well use Control D and Control R. Well, I can sense your curiosity level. If you're thinking, what about Control L and Control U? Well, there is no Control left and there is no Control U which will copy paste the data upwards because Control U is dedicated for underlining. So you'll see a couple of more shortcut keys in the upcoming series of videos on Ninja Shortcuts.